Hey guys, um, haven't made a video in a while, uh, mostly because uh, my camera has like died and it's broken and it's crap, so I don't want to use that. Um, but I have been modding, and I just went to a mod party today, and I picked up some really cool stuff. Um, but this tech target I actually found in my alley outside over there. But um, I believe I reinforced it, added a bungee, and replaced the barrel. It's the old style tech target, CPVC barrel replacement. Um, hold on. It vacuum loads. Um, shoots really nicely, has about a 55 to 60 foot range. It's a loner pistol for a pistol round gun. Because all you have to do really is go like this, load it in a dart and cock and prime it because it vacuum loads. And it's really fun to like twirl. I'm not like you know the greatest with it, but it works. Um, next is my new pistol round pistol, uh, my Nightfinder. Uh, I got this gun about a couple weeks ago, and I modded it about I don't know two weeks ago. Replaced the spring, um, no draw extension, but it still has about two inches of plunger draw, which is great. Um, CPVC coupler with very minimal dead space, very nice coupler, very cleanly made, and a very clean minimization. Um, has about a 70 foot range, hits real hard, has nice amount of velocity and accuracy, and it's my pistol round pistol, and if I were to carry a holster, this would probably be my um, blaster of choice. Um, a foam update. I bought 80 feet of this black foam. I believe it's mile high foam. Um, but I bought 80 feet for a relatively good price as far as foam goes. Instead of paying $12, I only paid, or no, instead of, um, instead of paying like 20 bucks for this foam, I only paid for like 8 so, um, it's really nice. It fits CPVC nicely. Here's the CPVC I use. This is just like a random piece. It fits really nicely. Um, don't make fun of you about that. Um, but basically, for about $15, including hot glue and washers, I'm good on Stefan's for the whole nerfing season, the summer nerfing season. Like, the season of nerf is considered the summer because that's when people have the most free time. Because the majority of nerfers are generally students. Not students, but, like, kids who go to school. Um, people who go to school. Uh, I'm not saying that nerf is only for, like, kids. Because I know, like, 25-year-olds that still play it and they have a lot of fun. And the climax of this video. Uh, some of you guys probably already know um, what it's going to be because of One Red Stefan's video and I just gave it away right there because if you guys aren't subscribed to One Red Stefan you subscribe to me you need to subscribe to him right away um but uh I got a crossbow and uh, I'll let you ooh and ah over it real quick yeah um the crossbow is a really really rare nerf gun um they go for a large amount of money to me. You know, a couple hundred bucks is a lot of money to me. Um, I just gotta take a breach out. Um, now I'll get to my breach. It's a Rev2 slug breach. And what this is, this is half inch PVC. And this is three fourths inch PVC. And it's been laved out um, with like a drill press. And it makes pretty much an airtight seal. And I have 17 30 seconds brass right here. I did not make this. Captain Slug made it. He invented the breech because um, brass breeches, like, um, generally, the, like some of the first breeches, there was always brass exposed. And it would be dangerous to barrel tap with it for the person who's getting barrel tapped and for the person who is barrel tapping because their barrel can potentially be, um, sorry, that's my phone, potentially be... Um, bent and broken and this is a lot more durable because it's firmly in the 3 4 inch PVC and also it just looks totally badass in a crossbow that's a probably another reason why I chose it 
Um, so the crossbow, what's been done to it is it's been ugh, this uh, the plunger tube can move around. It's been PVC coupled with a uh, very very little dead space and it's centered like perfectly. Um, I have we have reinforced the spring rests um, with aluminum sheeting. Um, reinforced the plunger head with polycarb, and I reinforced the like where the where it catches because that's where it can break with epoxy putty. And I've also added a bungee, uh, replaced the springs on the trigger and catch, and um, that's pretty much it. What's left is uh, one right Stefan is making me homemade internals, and that's obviously what's going to go on this gun. A uh, homemade plunger rod, homemade plunger head, homemade plunger tube. Um, I don't know about trigger and catch, maybe. If not, that's totally cool. Um, the reason why I got a crossbow is because, first of all, they're totally comfortable. Um, they're extremely accurate. They have very nice velocity, and um, I don't know. I just wanted a crossbow. I mean, they they're not like all what people say, but it is definitely a very very cool Nerf gun. If you can get one relatively cheap, if you see one at like a like a Goodwill, you better buy it, or else you are stupid. So um, here we go. Breach. <clears throat> And uh, it's a pull mechanism. And I don't know what spring I have in here, but for one red Stefan, um, can you not put a K26 spring in it? I would rather prefer that you put the spring in that you got from Split Lip, because you know we were talking about it. Because I don't like the feel of the K26 in here. I just don't feel like that it's like safe because I don't want to break the internals, even if they are going to be replaced. Um, so. Yeah, PM me about that, and we'll discuss it some more. I'm going to shoot the Xbox box. Um, hit the cardboard, and put a nice... It actually went... It, like, partially went through. And you see, the rate of fire is very, very nice. And slug breaches are, whoa, the plunger head, you see the thing hit me. Um, yeah, so I have a crossbow. Um, also, another thing, I have 100 subscribers, so, yay! Um, so subscribe if you haven't subbed to me before, I'd really appreciate it. I don't plan to become partnered or anything, I just, I like to make videos because um, it's entertaining to me. And I like to entertain other people. Um, so crossbow, prepare to see a lot of videos about this gun. Um, possibly internals video, possibly um, new paint job. I'm not going to paint this because I pretty much suck at painting. I'm going to have somebody who's really good at painting, like Bags or Merzlin paint this, or one of the painters at my bath floor. Some of them paint pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, crossbow, foam, night fender, tech target. I had a single tech, but I sold it. Um, so yeah, crossbow. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And, um, whoops. Coupler. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video.